this video, we're going to take a look at ratios, section 3.1 in your book. A ratio is a comparison of any two or more values. Usually, we're going to express it with a colon or express as a fraction. We might express it as a decimal, one to something, one to 2.5, or we might express it as a percentage equivalent, uh, 235%. The whole idea of a ratio is just to say the relative value of two different values, two different things. So if we have, our, in our example, we got M&Ms, we open up the bag, put it on the table, put it in a bowl, uh, and there's actually only two colors of M&Ms in there. There are 11 blue M&Ms, and there's seven red M&Ms. The ratio would be, well, we just put a colon, 11 to 7. Or, we'd say 11 to 7 by using a divide sign. If we take the 11 divided by 7 and we converted that into a decimal, we could say the ratio is 1.571 or 157.1%. Any of these say exactly the same thing of ratio. But it doesn't need to be limited to two. If we also had nine yellow M&Ms, we could say ratio is 11 to 7 to 9 adding the yellow M&M's. And of course there's green M&M's and our bag only had three of those so we can send the, the ratio as many terms as we want. So for 11 blue M&M's there was seven red, there was nine yellow, three green, the ratio continues. So what we're going to do is first of all we're going to reduce the ratio. Basically to express a large ratio in more meaningful terms. We can have really large numbers that don't really mean a lot, and when we shrink them down, we can see the relative sizes a lot better. So we're going to reduce to the lowest terms. How we do that? Well, we divide all the terms by the same common factor. Remember from high school, elementary school, common factors? Okay. Continue until there are no more common factors. We're going to find a common factor, divide all the terms by it, find another common factor, divide all the terms by it, find a third common factor, divide all the, all the terms by it, until we can't find any more common factors, we are then in the lowest terms. So we're going to take a look at this. Express the ratio of 1,500 to 4,500 to 3,000 in lowest terms. Well, what does that look like? Well, what's something common between these? Well, we could probably Take a look at 100. So if we had a common factor of 100, that would mean divide each one by 100. 1,500 divided by 100, this would be 15. 45 to 30. Divide each term by the same 100. That would be like doing 1,500 divided by 100 is 15. Okay. Are we done yet? Well, let's take a look. 15 and 45 and 30, well, they're not divisible by 2, but they are divisible by 3. Yeah, let's take a look. Ah, let's do 5. Seems a little more obvious. Common factor of 5. How many 5's are there in 15? Well, 15 divided by 5. So again, we have our example over here. 15 divided by 5. Well, that's a value of 3. Take the next factor. 45 over 5. This would be 1 to 3 to 
two. Okay? So 1,500 to 4,500 to 3,000 in lowest terms would be one to three to two. Much easier value to see how big they are compared to big ugly numbers. And if these weren't actually even level 100 values, value multiples of 100, then it might be even more difficult to kind of look at the, the relative values of it. So lowest terms, conti continue to find the, a common factor until there are no other common factors. We're going to divide each term by the, that common factor each time. All right. Second thing we're going to do is equivalent ratio. An equivalent ratio, which we actually had here coincidentally, but lowest terms don't relate to equivalent ratios. What we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that we're, to, we're going to compare in a relation to one. So we don't want any fractions less than one, but we do want one to be the lowest value in our ratio. So we're going to divide all the terms by the smallest term. Each term will be then be a decimal in relation to a unit of 1. So here we're expressing the ratio of 179 to 97 to 29 as an equivalent ratio. Well, first what we do is we look and we find which is the smallest value. The smallest value is 29. So we're going to take that smallest value and we're going to divide each term by that smallest value. So our equivalent ratio is going to be 179 over 29 to 97 over 29 to 29 over 29. Well, to get our calculator out, we'll do a little bit of work. And we say 179 divided by 29. This is 6.172 compared to 97 divided by 29. 3.345. Point three four five two one. So the whole goal of this is to get a value where something is going to be a ratio of one. How we do that? We find the smallest value. It's not always the last one. Here it happened to be. We just compare the three values here to find the smallest. Divide each one, each term. By that smallest value, we will always get something to 1. Right. So do a question. The cost to manufacture, to manufacture a fiberglass boat consists of $4,480 for materials, $6,330 for labor, and $2,650 for overhead. Express the three costs as a ratio. Well, Really simple solution would be, well, I'll just take a look at the three costs. 4480 to 63302 to 2650. Okay. Here we're looking at the ratio. So we're done. Well, we're going to try to do it in lowest terms first. So first of all, what can we get rid of? Well, we can get rid of the zeros. So we can say 448 to 633 to 265. This works okay. Again, it's, an it's, a, it's a ratio. We can't divide anything more. This isn't divisible by 5. This isn't this is by 3, but that's not by 3. We can take a look at all the values. You can try every value from 1 to 15. 
You're not going to find it. So, this is actually lowest terms. Okay. Well, we can also do this in an equivalent ratio. So, equivalent, we're just again going to find the smallest one. Find the smallest one to be that. So, here we're going to say 448 over 265. 633 to 265 and 265 to 265. Um, again, go to our calculator, calculate it out. 448 divided by 265, 1.691. I'll do three decimal places. 633 divided by 265, 2.389, and this is going to be 1. So this is the equivalent terms. Which one is right? Well, since we did it, Look at the, what we're asking for. It says express the three costs as a ratio. Are these three costs as a ratio? Yes. Are these three as a ratio? Yes. A little easier to understand. Also correct. Are, is this a ratio? Yes, it is. Also correct. Which one's the right one? In this case, they're all right. If we were really specific about lowest terms, or equivalent terms, we choose one or the other. In this case, it's all good. Those are ratios. Do some homework. If you have any questions, bring them to class. Good luck.